One of the most frequent questions you ask me down in the comments is what meter should you purchase? I got some for us to talk about. And there are three major things that I think you should consider. It's hardly a comprehensive list. Safety, what features do you need? And what environmental rating do you need? Also, this video is not sponsored by Fluke, but they did loan me these meters and I need to thank Electrical Equipment Company for putting me in contact with the right person at Fluke. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this video. The first thing you need to think about is safety. And every meter should have a CAT rating. So in the T61000's case, it has a CAT 3 rating of 1,000 volt and a CAT 4 rating of 600. Also, if a meter does not have a CAT rating, please quit using it. This is a Brand X meter, and nowhere on it does it actually say a CAT rating. So even though it says 600 volt up here, assume it's good for nothing. And we actually talk about it in the playlist at the end of this video as well. Then we have features. And I think this is where I have gone wrong in the past with features. And I read your comments, I have the exact same thoughts, is we try to get the meter that will do every single thing that we might ever need. That may not be the easiest meter to operate. And also it's probably the more expensive meter. Now we probably do need that expensive meter, but on my day to day, I just need certain features. I usually need to measure voltage, Ohms is nice, and occasionally I need amps. And the meter that I'm really getting hooked on is this Fluke T6-1000. And I have a whole review of this at the end of this video, but it measures volts. And specifically, it has one selection for volts, AC and DC. And that's a bigger advantage than you realize. And then it has ohms up here, and then it has this field sense. And what that does is, this does not only measure the amps like your typical clamp meter does. This also will measure the voltage AC of a wire that you pass through it. And it can measure the hertz. At that point, we can measure voltage without having an exposed conductor. Now, the one thing it does lack is those analog measurements that many of us need to use. What meter are you using? Whether you're doing process control or not, go ahead and put that down in the comments. I'm curious. This is the tried and true meter that most of us will recognize, the 87V. And it can do voltage AC, voltage DC, millivolts, including temperature, ohms, diodes, milliamps, AC and DC, amps, big amps as in 10 amps, and then it can also do microamps. So this one right here, when we're really having to go into those more sensor applications and do measurements, this is gonna be my go-to at least. Now, that doesn't mean it needs to be your go-to. In fact, if you're looking for purchase a meter, then I'll put a link down in the comments with a great selection guide. And finally, one more thing to think about is environmental rating, because I work a lot in the water industry, and yes, I've lost a couple meters in ponds. I've fire hosed quite a few meters. And yeah, if I had had something with an environmental rating, such as this Fluke 28.2, then I probably still would have a good meter. Here's that playlist that includes some great tips on meter selection. And definitely check out the video on the T6-1000. I am getting one of these. It's really cool.